Alright, hey guys, my name is Channel Bill I'm here with Dylan. This is a 79. This is a 79. What year is it? How many caps? <laughs> uh, it's 2016. It's about a clock, 100,000 days now. Yeah. yeah, just run in. Good bus. Yeah, well. yeah, definitely. So guys, this is obviously your V8 solid axle. This is everyone's dream car. So we're gonna run through this thing and hope you enjoy. All right guys, we're at the front of the car now. Run me through what you got all on here. Um, start off obviously, the ARB bar, following through, all the way, all the way back. Um, Brush bars. Yeah, scrubby side steps. Um, I've got two GME whips. They're paired up with XRSs in the cab. Um, well, why, why do you have two? Is there any reason? Oh, just one just so I can chat to mates and one so I can also listen to Channel 40 and oh, yeah, 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 just on longer trips. It's just handy That's to be able to hear what's going on in front. The pink ones as well. Yeah, That's they were the limited, uh, limited edition McGrath Foundation ones. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, good cause, so yeah. Yeah, and um, then obviously some, some steadies here. Yeah, just got the, the nine inch steadies on the front. They're good, put out good light. Um, they're not the newest ones, the, but they do they do the job. They're good enough for me, sure, that's all that matters. Yeah. Um, and then you got, is this a custom grill in yeah. here? Yeah, so that's from, um, as I'm sure you'd all know, if, if you're a fan of 70 series, it's from Maddie's Flexi. 79 there, that's his oh, grill, yeah. so. Yeah, sick. And then obviously you've got a winch here. Yeah, that's. What winch is that one? <laughs> that's just the king's winch. Yeah, up the king. I've got, I've got a worn, I've got a worn sitting at home, but it's just one of yeah. those things, you gotta get a chance to put it in, and yeah. I haven't had a chance yet. They come in the car when I've bought it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fair. No, uh, yeah. There are people, but still look tough on these 79s, I have to admit. And then obviously you've got, are these PVS? No, the they're, they're the Bushdorf ones. Oh, so, yeah. Um, do it yourself, the retrofit kit. Yeah, so, nice. did that, just pulled, it, pulled the headlights and apart. Black it all out. Yeah, and then that. just yeah. used like, some paint from Autobahn or Repco and yeah. just painted it and put no, it in. It looks good. And these are obviously the factory ones. And you, yeah, like you yeah, just pull the, them apart. They I, are, I thought yeah. they were actually, I thought they were different ones entirely, but they are the factory ones. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Yep. No, that's okay. wicked. And then the bonnet scoop, obviously, that's factory. Yeah, well, but. that's that's from the DPF model where this is not. So that, I reckon oh. this bonnet came in in 2018. So it's not actually the bonnet that the car come with, but oh, okay. I think they look better. The, the bigger scoop, yeah, the double so scoop good. style. So they're, yeah. they're massive. This is like everyone who has a car at some point puts one of these on. Up. Yeah, <laughs> you see them on everything. Five last mods it in. Yeah, yeah GU, GQ, definitely. patrols, everything. Yeah, definitely. Under here, GSL bash plate. It's got the hiding and it's still holding up strong. Um, the Tough Dog Panhard Rod, that's the second one that's been in the car. Does well for me. It's just a fulcrum steering dampener, nothing special, but it works. You got the superior arms underneath. Um, they're awesome, they, they make a huge difference. They're the Hyperflex, I think, from memory. We've got the King's Remote Race Suspension that I'm sure you're about to see, paired with Dobinson's coils. Um, and yeah, that's really about it. Got upgraded brakes in the front too to help it pull up. Start off 35 by 12 and a half by 17. Nitto Trail Grapplers, they've been awesome. Pretty much the only tire I'll run. Um, they're paired with the KMC Machette bead locks, uh, 17 inch rim. They're awesome as well. I love the look of them. They're hard to keep clean, but they're sick and bead locks. Obviously, you can run real low pressures which is a huge advantage when you're out full driving. The King's Remote Res Suspension, that, that makes a huge difference, not cheap, but they're worth the money for sure. Um, four inch Dobinson's coils, um, slightly sags now, but that, they're good as well. I'm happy with them. We've got the underneath the superior arms. Yeah, like I said, I reckon they're the Hyperflex arms. It's been a while, I can't quite remember, but yeah, they're cool as well. It helps with the um, clearancing when you put a bigger bigger lift in and whatever. Just so, uh, yeah, it doesn't hit anything and it all sits true and, and good. In the back, we've got the Dominson's parabolic leaf springs, which are really good for your ride. 
comfort and, and they flex really well as well. Um, obviously, so when Leaf, that's, that's was the biggest thing for me. What's going to be best and, and the comfiest. Um, obviously, we've got the Kings remote res um, in the back as well. They're front and back 10 inch travel. I've got the Boss Air suspension, Boss airbags in the in the rear, um, just to help with the weight when I've got the canopy on. Um, and yeah, that helps out heaps, um, just to keep the car sitting level and because and, otherwise if I don't have them pumped up though it, it sits pretty low in the in the back so um, just yeah factory tow bar and whatever so nothing too crazy going on I'd love to put a winch and, and whatever in the rear but it's all time and something to do I guess when I when I got a spare minute and some spare money <laughs> exhaust it's a four inch system that splits out into twins in the middle um, dumping out either side I got that custom made by um, Elite Fab Works in Tail and Bend. Highly recommend him. Really good work. Um, it's loud, it's sooty, and it's lots of fun. <laughs> I used to have a standard tray with a canvas canopy that went full length on, on the car, and that was good for a while, but I just decided that I wanted a different different setup so um, my mate Brad from BA Fabrications he built me the tray um, exactly how I wanted it super stoked with how that come out um, matched it with a fused fabrications canopy it's a 1600 mil canopy with the quarter dog box um, we went uh, these are uh, these guards there from um, Brad, he, he did them himself, um, and the boxes, they're from Fused Fabrications as well. Um, the tray sits a little bit higher than, I guess, a standard cruiser height tray would sit. Um, that was just because of the way, the height of the canopy, the way that I want to go with the car, doing um, coils in the rear eventually to bring up the height, uh, just so it will tuck up more. Um, so yeah, we've raised the tray up a little bit, but I'm super happy with how it all sits. So um, up top, we've got the Motop 120 plus, the V4 I reckon. Um, super, super happy with the setup that I'm running now. Um, it's good, I jack the canopy off during the week when I'm driving it to and from work and put it on. Most weekends it only takes five minutes to put on, bolt it down hook up the wiring and yeah away we go so yeah really happy with with the, the way we've gone with the car here on the rear nothing too crazy just some yeah the double tail light set up just went with them because i like the way they they swipe when you're indicating um the steady revert oh, i use them as their wide up as reverse lights these are really really bright so handy wherever you go at night time it lights up like massively which is um, yeah, really, really handy, especially when you're away camping or whatever, just put it in reverse and you can help everyone else set up, I guess, have got light. Um, just a steely on the back um, as a spare, just because the <laughs> other wheels are too expensive to have as a spare that hopefully I'll never have to use. Um, eventually, I'm gonna put, like, I'll put a gas bottle holder on the back um, and then probably a jerry can as well. Or maybe end up going dual spares, not 100% sure. Um, obviously, run the run the ladder down off the back as well for, for the rooftop. These, they're a 900 mil, 900 mil box. Um, I'll just keep straps, shackles, whatever in these. Um, just, yeah, all the recovery gears on the other side. That's just, yeah, if I need to strap stuff down, whatever, stuff like that. Um, I don't really, nothing on this side in the canopy, um, that's just normally where I put my bags and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's a dog box. Just, yeah, just got a sock and set and whatever in it at the moment, but it'll be handy, like it is handy. Um, keep the dog out of the car when it's wet and whatever. Okay hey guys, I'm back, you haven't seen me in a while. Now, um, yeah, so we're running through the uh, passenger side of the canopy, so what's, what's going on in here? Um, Got a drop down fridge slide, really handy. That's an 80 litre fridge slide. You, um, need, you need, that, need that for a car this high. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty tall, but I look at this, this is so high. Yeah, well, <laughs> definitely a necessity. I didn't have a fridge slide in it. 
Oh, that's for so probably hard. about a week, man. And yeah. <laughs> I had to get one put in it. Like yeah. I, I needed one. Definitely. You can't can't see in the fridge at all. No. So um, yeah, fridge line a must. Um, I've just got a 50 or 55 litre Waco fridge at the moment. Yep. I do want to go a bigger fridge, but... Like a 90? This is a huge Yeah, size. I think Massive. it's either for an 80 or 90, up yeah. to an 80 or 90. That's so, nice. Yeah, I do want to go an 80 or 90 litre fridge, 12 volt switchboard kind of thing. Yep. Yep. Um, I've got lights. Oh, nice. Narva lighting through the canopy. Um, they're really bright at night time. So you see what, see what you're grabbing? Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> The ARV single compressor. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, for your tires. Yeah, for the tires and whatever, and to pump up the airbags. Um, that's yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. How long does that take? To pump airbags. Oh, airbags are quick. Like, okay. Probably 20 seconds each airbag to pump oh, them up. But yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Like, so they're really quick. Um, yeah. And is this is this all storage here? Like yeah, just mostly. For now it is. I want to put yeah. one of those pull out um, pantries. Oh, they're in. sick. Thanks. Yeah. So I'll yeah. definitely do something like that and then maybe do some shelving yeah, in here yeah. kind of thing. I want to put maybe a travel buddy, like oh, something yeah. like that, yeah. fire warm or something like yeah. that. Um, I'll eventually put a hot water unit in the back corner, um, yeah. something like that, just so I can then run a shower tent that'll mm. be mounted on the rooftop, um, mm. shower tent and whatever. So that's all coming eventually. It's just, yeah, more yeah. time, more money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, so yeah, heaps of room in there to, to evolve the setup, that's for sure. Yeah. And then like you said, jack it off during the week. Jack off mounts right there. And then what's in um this one over here? Oh, this one normally has all my recovery gear. That's just got, at the moment, a few, well, that's got tow bars. It's got um, oh, yeah. tire deflators. Uh, a bit full, full drive stuff. Yeah, just yeah. full, general yeah. full driving stuff. So I'll leave all that in there. Um, just so it's out of the way, that stuff normally gets dirty. I don't want to be in the canopy. So. Yeah, that's fair. Enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, wicked. And um, do you reckon you ever get like a? I don't even know where you'd put it. Like a table or something. I don't know, like a fold-out table. Oh, just I'll, get a game table. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I normally just by the time I got the gas bottle sitting there, oh, kind of yeah. thing. I was, I'd probably just use the back. Of, I'd, well, that's what I do. That's now. fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I use the back of the tray. Yeah. Um, Got a put, table on the back. Yeah, put the Weber, put whatever you want mm. on the back, and then you can just put your chopping board or whatever to make stuff on the back of yeah. the tray. It's, it's not too high, really. Like it's. it's so it's good, it's good height. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> actually a good height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, so, so easy. Yeah, you don't yeah. need one. All right. Well, I think we're going to run through the engine now. Starting off this side, four-inch axis um, fab, their stainless steel snorkel, which is paired with their their air box. Um, really good product, haven't had any issues. Um, got the can in filter on the inside. That's got its pros and cons, I guess. It's good for making power. Probably not the best air filter for full driving for the dust and whatever, uh, but I haven't had any issues. Um, on these, obviously, they're normally a top mount intercooler. Um, it's all been repositioned. It's now a PDI front mount. So all the piping work with that, uh, all stainless piping work, that all runs down. Um, the J-Max brake booster, a necessity in my opinion, especially in these, running bigger tyres, whatever, they don't like to pull up. So that makes a huge difference. Um, uh, the G-Turbo intake pipe, all that running through, um, and that, that pairs up with um, with the rest of it. Um, it's running plus 70 injectors as well. Um, the G350 red wheel, which I've recently put in it, used to have the G400 blue wheel, but it was just a little bit too laggy and had a few issues with it. So, um, yeah, going back down a size and it's still making good power, which I'm happy with. The reason we're going, yeah, front mount on this, the PDI front mount, um, just helps it cooler, it run cooler, obviously, when they're on top. It's my personal opinion, it's going to be hotter, whatever. So, good airflow through the front, not worried about any heat from the engine bay, no fans, nothing like that. Just, yeah, straight through, runs better. Um, I tow a fair bit, so, yeah, definitely makes a huge difference with, with um, all the temps and, and whatever and yeah, I like it. it looks good it opens up the engine bay a bit more you can see a bit more and yeah no really happy with that that, that was a definitely a, a big positive in in my eyes yeah um, we've got 
the dual battery, nothing too crazy, just normal batteries. Um, it's been good, runs everything really, the sound system, the canopy, whatever, that's all, all, um, all works really well. Um, got a winch isolator in there, um, and yeah, that's, that's about it. For, for the engine bay. Starting off with the seats, they're from Pro Seat. So um, they're a HSV style seat, re-trimmed obviously with the Land Cruiser in them. Um, not cheap, but probably one of my favorite things about the car, they're so comfortable, really good on long road trips. They're not like a bucket seat, but yeah, they're just really comfortable. Um, obviously, like I said, mentioned before, we got the two XRSs in here, one's there, and I'll just keep the other one there. Also got the uh, Red Arc Boost and EGT gauge, that's a digital gauge, so it's really nice, handy, um, it illuminates and whatever once you hit your set pressure on boost and, and you can, um, the EGT, it's, yeah, just really handy, having the one gauge, I like it, it's better than having multiple gauges um, up, the, up the pillar, so yeah. The cruiser console, centre console, that's a full length um, console, pairs up with the uh, centre console. Um, so that's yeah, that's really handy. As most people know, cruisers don't come out with many cup holders. One cup holder, I think. So that's definitely handy. Two cup holders, wallet, whatever. I'll just leave stuff there. Um, that's a roof console. I'm not sure what brand that is. That come in the car when I bought it. The Alpine six by nine door speakers. Um, they're good, good sound, I'm, I love a good sound system, so yeah, they're good, put out good sound. I do eventually also want to do like matching door cards to the seats and then move the speakers over here because I'm not real happy with how they sit at the moment. Pioneer head unit, um, I want to upgrade that as well to the Polaris head unit, but yeah, another thing to do. Uh, I've got a Rockford Fosgate one sub behind the seat at the moment. I'll eventually go two with a custom sub box um, and then I've got two amps underneath the passenger seat as well and yeah I think that's about it for the inside. Okay guys so um, I just thought I'd ask Dylan what are your future plans for this vehicle so yeah. Um, there's a few things that, that are pretty that'll like coming pretty soon. Um, mirrors, gone uh, oh, yeah. MSA mirrors. Um, yeah. I don't they're like right. the look of clear views and I don't like the two-piece mirror. I've had them before. Yeah, yeah. Not okay. a big fan. You okay. had a really bad blind spot in them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, new mirrors. Um, I've also got, yeah, twin stainless snorkels, um, four-inch from Fat Bars, two new ones coming. Oh, what um, colour are they? They're going to be black. black. So, the reason I've gone black is I kind of want to make the wheels the standout point because I love the wheels so much. So, get rid of the chrome kind of thing and Hopefully it'll just yeah make the wheel stand out just that little bit more. Um, so if you're if you're needing to buy a 79 series uh, snorkel, there's one right here for sale. Surely. Yeah, that'll be for sale in the next month. Or SA so. guys, SA. Yeah. Um, I'd, yeah. I'm hoping to maybe put some coils in the rear of it. That'll be soon. a big one. Yeah. Um, I like to drive it. Oh, like summer's coming, I like to drive it kind of thing. Mm. So maybe next winter we'll pull it off the road and. And yeah, hopefully get some coils um, yeah. with a with a new diff yeah, in the rear, yeah. the, the widened diff. Because if you didn't know, the the 79 diffs are narrower in narrow, the rear. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a few things like that. We're gonna get around and putting the the new winch in and mm. and that. Um, but yeah, that's that's. And then obviously the um the canopy stuff, like you said before. Yeah. Uh, on the back, a little bit of touch ups back there. Yeah. And I'm um, to fit out. Yeah. yeah, a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, just finish off inside the canopy and mm. and whatever. But yeah, I think just for now, I just want to use it. I've, yeah, the train canopy, that's all pretty new. I haven't really used it too much, so hopefully, yeah, get mm. out and use it. And mm. I think that's the biggest thing. Like, I want to get out and use it and know what works and what doesn't work in, like, canopy-wise and mm. um, see what I like and don't like what I want to change instead because there's no point going out and putting all this shit in the canopy, whatever, and then... You don't don't need it, don't use yeah, it, exactly, takes up yeah. too much room. So yeah. use it a bit more, figure out what I want to do and then yeah. And yeah, go from there. Definitely. So. Nah, hundred percent. Don't want to put hundred K in it and then go, oh, I should have done this instead. Yeah, <laughs> exactly right. So build it up slowly, yeah. Yeah. And also and also with your position like that you, you work a lot yeah. to have this. So it's not like like he's earned this guy, so it's it's an absolute weapon and yeah. 
I think it's an awesome build. Yeah. And a lot of people will be oh, aspired to this, I reckon. Oh, and also, also one of the one of the better ones in SA is what Mike was saying before. There's not too many in SA that come around here that are built up to this spec. So, no, nah, should be good. True patty. Thank you very much. Yeah. I nah, appreciate it. It is an absolute beast. That'll do. That was good.